there a silver lining in the fact that it took you this long to throw that first pick? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I can't, in that situation, I can't put the ball in jeopardy. It's being up three, you know, kind of backed up in our, in our own territory at like 10 or something like that. Uh, at the end of the day, I just can't, I can't do that. Um, at the, I should have probably just ate the sack and just give the punt team a chance to, you know, flip the field. But all credit goes to the defense on that. They came out. Held, held them through a field goal and gave us a chance to go go down and win the game the next drive. How were you able to come back from that, though, and throw a dime like that for the game-winning score? How were you able to do that? Uh, I mean, I think it, start, it starts with all the, the support I have here, uh, whether it's teammates or coaches. I couldn't couldn't ask for a better group of people to be around as a support system. And, you know, at the end of the day, stuff happens. You, you have to flush it. You can't dwell, dwell on the past. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we had another opportunity to go out there and win the game, and, and we just did just that. And that's why that's why we play football to have opportunities like that to go down and win a game. How did it feel to make that throw in that situation? Uh, I mean, it just felt it felt good overall, just because we, we missed a couple of the deeper shots earlier in the game. Uh, obviously, on those on those throws, my goal is just to get allow the receiver to touch the ball, uh, allow him to come down with it, make a play after the catch or or a pass interference on the defense so we can move the chains again. And um, luckily, I mean, Dre, Dre made a fantastic catch. It was it was pretty good coverage, honestly, but Dre made a, a really good catch and then was able to stay in bounds and take it the rest of the way. Drew, can you tell us about, anything? Drew, can you take us through the way that play unfolded from when it's called on the sideline? Do you have different options there? Because everybody's wondering, why isn't he taking deep shots? But it sounds as if there may have been things that you've had earlier that you decided to go in other directions. Yeah, uh, I mean, that that was the second time we ran that play, actually. The first time was the one where I, I missed it to McLean on the post um, in the end zone. I missed that one. So that was actually the second time we ran that play. But on that play, I, honestly, I just saw Indiana kind of being aggressive. Um, Look, they cover one, and the, the cover one safety was pretty low, and that, that's how they kind of play as a team with their, their post safety. So I knew that I had two good options. I had Dre on the, the slot fade, and then I had, uh, I think McLean was in again uh, on the backside post. So my first my first option was Dre, and he, he won, so I just gave him a chance, and that, the rest happened. Sure, just, just having a moment like that, is it more satisfying uh, in the context of what the past seven days have been like for you? Uh... I don't know if it's more satisfying. I think it's just, you know, I, I think it was just great, great resiliency from not only the offense today, but the defense and special teams. I mean, we were not perfect in any phase today. And I mean, we're, we're the first to admit that definitely not as clean as we would have liked on the offensive end. But at the end of the day, we found a way to win. And I mean, Indiana's a tough opponent. Their record may not show it, but I mean, they, they play tough. They play hard. They play fast and physical, and they're, they're going to play the whole game no matter what the score is, and that showed today. Um, I mean, they, they got great players up front uh, on their D-line, and, you know, I mean, it's just it's just great to bounce back from, from last week to with this one. What Drew, makes Keanu Andre Lambert smith such a clutch receiver for you? Uh, I think it's just his mentality, really. I think Dre and all of our receivers really have that mentality that they want the ball in their hands in those sorts of situations, and they're going to come down with it no matter what. And I think Dre represents that, and that, that's what makes him good in those moments. Drew, after the interception, you come back to the sideline. What, what's going on? What, what are you thinking about at, at that moment? What's going on in your head uh, after that After that throw? Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't even know I threw an interception until I got to the sideline because I, I got hit, and I, I didn't even, like, usually, like, you hear the crowd react, but honestly, there was, like, no re, no reaction to it. So, honestly, I thought it was just an incomplete pass or something, and then I look back at the defenses out on the field, and I'm like, oh, I, I really <laughs> just threw an interception right there. But after that happened, I mean, just flush it, move on. Like I said earlier, defense had a great did a great job of going out, holding those to the field goal, backed up, and uh, giving us another opportunity to go down and win the game. Could you add? Can that be somewhat of a relief to you that you threw it and you don't have this and everybody's saying he hasn't thrown an interception, he hasn't thrown an interception. I mean, now that it's done and you bounce back, can that be, can that kind of uh, take pressure off in a way? Uh, no, I mean, to me, all that talk is kind of weird because I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I, I shouldn't have thrown that ball at the end of the day, but I'm not going to not be aggressive 
to not throw an interception. That's not what you have to do at quarterback. You have to take what's there, and sometimes you do have to be aggressive. Um, sometimes it comes back to bite you, like it did for me today. But I mean, no, I mean, I don't think it relieved any pressure or anything like that. You sure, your first two. You know, when we talked to you last week after the game, you were pretty upset. Um, how were you able to kind of flush out the last game, and what were some of those meetings, conversations, and film sessions? Yeah, so for me, any any game, no matter the result, no matter how good I played or how bad I played, uh, I take Saturday Saturday night to like reflect on it, and then early into Sunday morning, and then as soon as we get to the practice, uh, I flip the switch to the next opponent. Um, so I, I kind of put last week behind me on Sunday evening, I guess, um, and you know just focused all my energy towards Indiana because we knew this this was a tough team and they have a great scheme defensively and they got a lot of players out there that can play. Drew, obviously Brad's a busy guy, but did he two communicate over the past week? And if so, what were those conversations like? Uh, I mean, we we communicate on pretty much like a daily to every other day day basis. Um, it's not always about football, but. Uh, he he was here today, so I was able to you know catch up with him a little bit for in person at least uh, before the game, and then uh, yeah, I mean the, the conversations are just kind of about bouncing back and you know f fundamentals and footwork and just other stuff going on in the world. It's only a week, but do you feel any different as a quarterback, as a player from last Saturday to now in any way? Uh, I mean, grew anything? I mean, any kind of no, I mean I think as a team. Uh, we showed that we're able to bounce back from adversity, not only from last week, but you know today. Like I said earlier, it, it wasn't perfect in any phase of the game, but we were able to find a way to win at the end of the day. And it's hard to do. It's hard to win in college football, especially in the Big Ten. No, no Big Ten opponent is easy. Um, so, I mean, I think we just found out more about ourselves that we are who we say we are. We're going to bounce back, even if we're we're pushed back into a corner and. Uh, yeah, so I think we were just a really resilient group today overall. Drew, at the beginning of the game, when the offense was getting geared off the field in some of those early stages, a lot of up -pent anger and kind of frustration. What are you telling you guys to kind of give them something to cheer about, and how are you tuning that out to generate something offensively? Uh huh. Uh, well, I mean, I think we like we we had a really good mindset offensively. Obviously, I mean, we we were doing good things, but obviously, it wasn't the end result that we wanted. And, Nobody's more frustrated than us when we can't when, when we can't think, get things going because of how much time and effort we put into the game plan each week. It's it's really frustrating when you can't get going as fast as you would have liked. But uh, there were there was just simple things again that we were uh, you know missing or not doing in the beginning, and then we finally finally fixed those things and were able to you know adjust to what they were doing and just keep the game rolling. Drew, following up on competing in the Big Ten week in, week out, what is the emotion of the mental, physical toll like for you and your teammates throughout the season? Uh, I mean, it, I don't even know how to describe it, really. Uh, it's de it's definitely like a different type of physical, not abuse, I don't even know a word for, for it, but like Sunday, I, I'm already feeling a little sore and I, I don't even want to think about what I'm going to be feeling like tomorrow. But we go through a lot as student athletes um, here. Uh, I mean, we put so much time into our game plan and everything each week and not to mention all the schoolwork we have uh, balancing all of those things. So we, we pour a lot of our emotional and physical like well-being into this and giving it everything we have. Uh, to hopefully go out on Saturdays and have a good result and, you know, just play the game that we love. But it definitely takes a toll on you mentally and physically. But, I mean, I think we do a good job of just, you know, embracing that almost and uh, coming together as a team even more and just, you know, bouncing back each week and just going out and, you know, just playing. What do you learn from Sean in regards to yeah, I mean, Sean was one of the, the unquestioned leaders of our team, not only vocally, but physically last year. I mean, he's he's one tough guy. He's one tough quarterback. And um, I think I think that he benefited the whole quarterback room that no matter how you're feeling, you have to get back up and, you know, go out for the next play or the next the next series um, and just put everything behind you. And pain is only temporary at that point. So don't worry about it. Uh, just just keep pushing through it. And, you know, at the end of the day, things will things will ha happen and turn out the way you want to if you just keep pushing through those. So, how does this game give you confidence moving forward? Can you, can you sorry? How does this game give you confidence moving forward as a player? 
Uh, I think it gives us confidence as a whole team, really, just because of the, like, again, the resiliency and the adversity that we faced, uh, not only today, but throughout this whole week. We were able to, you know, bounce back and find a way to win a game. Um, it, it's just something that can't be understated, really. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's what really helped us this week is we came together as a team and, you know, bonded even tighter.